jumping the turnstile. I'm Jazzbot. I'm Timmy Taco. How you doing over there, Timmy Taco? Good, thanks. How you doing I'm over there, Jazzbot? Just well, just well enough. <laughs> just Thank well you. enough. Thank you for asking. Getting by. You brought over the bloody coffee. Yes. <sighs> you uh, haven't had a coffee in over a week, which I just think is absolutely ridiculous. I've been drinking tea, but I, I drank my last bago oh, this morning. It's funny you should say that because mm-hmm. I've got a note here because I know you all, you love my notes, Tim. Yeah. Because you think I don't take enough, but I've got twenty one banging notes. Oh, here we go. Podcast. Number so, one with a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Well, picture the, the cupboard that stores your tea bags. Mm-hmm. You know that shop, everyone? <coughs> yeah. There's too many bags of tea. <laughs> too many different varieties. Too many different varieties. I agree. Because you're never going to get around to it. No, well, I'm... Right, the I'm, herbal teas, no. it, it, it's it's a phase. Yeah, you're it going is. Through. It's a and, punsy phase. And you have like occasional peppermint tea. You might no. have some chamomile. But no. Like, when? Chamomile. And I reckon <laughs> that that tea cupboard is prime real estate, cupboard real estate. Oh well, there's about wasted. five grand's worth of real estate there. Yeah, yeah on the in this <laughs> in, in this yeah, um, economy economy. There that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and I, and I think the same way for the driveway. That's that's at least thirty grand's worth of. Oh, you've got a whole bloody granny could, flat. Yeah, under you there. could. Yeah, you could. But um, if you got rid of all your cups, mm. all the extra coffee uh, tins, all the tea bags, you know. You, well, I, you can get a bay mix in there now. I turn, I a, turn like the mirror on you. Cooker. I turn the mirror on you because oh, you yeah. have been through the the coffee cup purge of uh, oh, nineteen yeah. diggity. Oh yeah, and you're always throwing cups out. Trying Did you to. gain real estate? I only gained real estate. It was the first clean up, and I used hooks on the oh. bottom of the shell. You hook, and then you can hang your coffee cups. Yeah, so but I then doubled you gotta, my floor space. Well, yeah, like but then you're, the mezzanine. yeah, but then you're like cheapening up your kitchen shelf. Well, you can't see all these hookers. Right. Yeah, no one can see it. But you can't see the, the you can't see the fifteen mugs like um, number one dog dad uh, <laughs> mug. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, son-in-law, best son-in-law, best son-in-law, um, uh, best builder. I had uh, Cassie's friend gave her a black cup, but when you put heat in it, when you put mm. hot water, what her happened? face comes up. Oh, so that was great. That's hot. So that was hot. <laughs> I, I, was, I wanted her to do a tit one, but she wouldn't. Okay. But, um, it was Just like favorite. those pens. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but um, so I made made some room in the tea cupboard. Are you having then, another uh, cup of coffee? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good to you. Uh, but then Cassie just filled it up with um, varieties of tea bags. Now, I've just gone mm. over to see mum and dad and had, mm. and had to give them three like tubes of infused Rose hip, yeah, lavender and bloody oh not lavender. That's yeah. a terrible tasting bloody tea. Yeah, because <clears throat> um, we just can't drink it all. I'm like, sounds like you're naming cows. No, <laughs> <laughs> you should say that. Well, I, I'm segueing into Thank you. Um, um, Jazzbot's day at the farm. Yeah, I've been up the farm. We're not going to say whose farm. I've been. No, 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 yeah, yeah, right. Um, yeah. yeah, we went up the bloody farm, mate. Mm-hmm. Mm. Just to just to scratch about. And, yeah, have a squidgery do. Mm-hmm. Um, have a sniff about. Yeah, but they've got they've got uh, animals on board, and they're they're you're telling me that they're struggling with what to name them. Well, the name oh, they're, they're they're giving them um, names, and yes. it needs to be uniform. It needs to be like so. If you're going to do cows, mm-hmm. we're going to go. It's going to be uh, flower types. Yeah. So rose hip, <laughs> rose hip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, um, yeah, or we're going to do old names like Mavis or... Daisy. Daisy. Well, that's a flower one. Uh, okay. Yeah, up, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah. Like so, sheepos. So you get you get categories. Yeah. Or yeah. like you're going to do planets. Yep. That means you can only have nine. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, four, yeah. Four, Fair Venus enough. Venus two. Uranus. Boogaloo, Uranus they four. Uh, the back door. <laughs> uh, but then they, they've got some sheepos and the sheep have lambs. So mm-hmm. every year you're doubling your flock pretty much. If so they survive. so you need a good you need a good system to name them. Yeah. So we were uh, we had a bit of a brainstorm last night, didn't we? There we Tim? did a we did a bit of back and forth coming up with it. I was I was suggesting that they've all got to have bar in the uh, in the name. Well, I started with um, Ali Bar Bar, mm-hmm. and they went right. That's on the list. And okay. I said, well, they got approved straight away. They got approved immediately. Okay. Got a laugh and approved. Okay. Uh, and then I went, Tony Barber. Okay. All right. So they're either brother and sister or married. I'm not sure. 
I'm gonna go. Are we gonna go the um the back and forth back on and this forth. one? You do okay. yours. I'll do mine. Okay. Um. Do you wanna do you wanna do um the quick fire? Okay. So. Ali right. Barber and Tony Barber. Roseanne Barr. Barley. Baba Ganoush. Yes. Barbecue. Yeah. Barzinga. Bavaria. Baba Black Sheep. Baba White Sheep. Baba White. The local bar. Baha Up. Baba Gabor. <laughs> you just wrote dag. Yeah. No, that's no good. Um, <laughs> Danny Barnaducci. Sheeping Beauty. <laughs> that kind of it kind of goes off the bar. That's all right. But, that's fine. That's fine. It's but still, you can do that. It's yeah. still in the family. Uh, Lama Danga Ding No Dong. Ah, no Dong. <laughs> well, I think they get spayed. Oh, they get, get dong. They get de donged. They get like dagged and. Ooh, give so is that well, like? Well, when these guys come, they back aim from, for the dag. They accidentally castrate them. <laughs> when they come back from their uh, sabbatical, these farmers, they have to do all the lambs get got to get their four injections, get their. Uh, they get their sheep shorn, get yeah. their balls bollocks. Sheep shorn enough. <laughs> yeah. Get their tails docked. Ooh. All in the... All get in their the hooves, hooves re, re-clipped. Mm. Um, Sounds crook. Rumple sheepskin. Okay. That was Cassie's. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Bar to fuck up. Oh, doesn't like back to fuck up. Oh, yep. Onyx. Yep. I went the laminator. <laughs> Oh, yeah. As in like Terminator. Lamborghini. <laughs> Conan the Lab Lambrarian. Uh and then we've got Chop Suey. Um Conan the Bar Barian. Okay. Um and that was That's about it. That but it's a good it's a good little uh start to the flock. It's, it's good, yeah. Have they got that many sheep? Did we just yeah. name the next sheep for the next ten years? Oh we were Name is naming rights. You could uh you, you could also do that. Like we've got uh, fifty sheep. Best best bid to um oh, name it. name the sheep, mm. and you get a sheep. Gets once the, every six get months, meat. you get the moot. Yeah, yeah. Winner takes all. The the, the, the lamb tray. Oh, the um the classic standard meat tray from the yeah, yeah but just all good. lamb. <laughs> lamb chops. You, got you do sheep. lamb sausages, right? Yeah, sure. sure. Do you? Yeah, I guess so. I thought you did pork and pork and beef. Oh, look, sprinkle a bit of garlic in there. Oh, you can chuck lamb. Mutton. Is it? Yeah. Good for curries. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. This is the uh, cooking this corner. Is farm corner. Uh, <laughs> but I'll tell you this much, because mm. I got me, uh, brought up me whippersnipper. Mm. Give him a chop out along yep. one of the fence lines. Yeah. And it How was, big? Uh, well, it was almost 400 metres of fence. Okay. It's... Uh, three tanks of gas. But, is it? Um, but that was like two hours, three hours of your day. One yeah. fence line. And there's like... All endless. F- it's endless fence. By the time you get to the, the, the starting point, it's grown back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you'd have to be out there. You'd have to be out there once once a week doing, really? a, doing a fence line somewhere. And what's the point of doing a fence line? Isn't it oh, because so... your mower can't get right close. Okay. And then, and then your, um, your, but you electric, use your it. electric fence. You're not using a push mower out there, though, are you? No, you've got a, you've got a $250,000 <laughs> bloody lawnmower. Tracker, yeah, tracker. Okay. you got this, you got that. I'm hearing, I'm hearing lots of uh, cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Yeah. Well, we couldn't start one of the old tractors. Um, we stuffed around for about two hours, and then it's like after two hours, you guys, we can't put any more effort into this. So let's move on. To oh, something the else. forfeit. But that's going to be a fifteen hundred dollar mechanic come up at least. He's going. Oh yeah, didn't bring the part. Mm. Have to do it next week. Yeah. But it's a massive undertaking. Um, sure and I, I realised when I was out there, you know, two and a half hours out of Melbourne. Um, mm. And it's beautiful. I loved it. I collected all my seeds and I did yeah. a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's very lonely. Yeah, it's quiet out there. You're out there by yourself. It's quiet out there. Unless there's, unless there's generators or um, the gentle tractors hum of going. A, a generator <laughs> yeah. going 24 hours yeah. a day. Low, low flying crop dusting. Well, that was their neighbour is, is running off generator. Oh, is so he? At, at midnight, when you wake up, what's it? It's a generator. Right. Right. And we're all thinking, we'll Turn it off. Put some dirt around it. Like, make a barrier. Put a lid yeah, on it. Of course you can. Just put a muffler on it. Of course you can. Like, put it right down the back of the property. Yeah. But then you've got to f- bloody front up six grand's worth of extension leads. <laughs> yeah. Everything's in bulks of grand's. Mm. Uh, I Could need you- some seed. I'll, I need a ton, not a packet. 
could you could you cut a little channel, put a PVC pipe in there, run an extension lead through the pipe, and get power? Yeah, man. To some of your sheds that way. Yeah, man. You could do it. <sighs> we could. could. Could we, we would. do it in the dead of night, where we we would plug into one of their things? Plug into the next. Yeah, farm. and then put like a a, a a rake in front of it or something, so well, they forget they it's said, there. I think they said it's uh to the closest power to get onto their property because they've got property a uh, power at the back of the property, but not where the sheep shearing shed is, where uh, they're all fucking yeah, around and converting it. It's like four hundred meters okay. of of cables. That you well, just to move your operation to the back of the property then. Yeah, but that sh- sheep shed's already up the front of the property. Well, how hard they're, is they're it to living do? in it? Oh, is it? <laughs> it's pretty oh. hard. It's pretty, uh... Yeah. Hey! 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 Hey everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's up at the farm. It's, I mean... Yeah. Oh, man. So it's a, it's a, bit, it's a, it's a big task. Task. Big task. Everything is a big task. Yeah, because if you want to get a path going, <clears throat> you've got to get the top shit to put on it to stop it from washing away and then the gravel. that's yeah that's the stuff well, when they were digging the that's four tons ginormous gigaliter uh, dam it yeah. was all all, all uh, gravel and rock so now you've got okay. supplies okay that's so good and they built yeah. one of their roads with all that shit did they yeah yeah right Oops, do you have to like uh, pick out the biggins and nah you just run over with the tractor it squishes down and oh right it's yeah. more like clay is it but I'd be out there with uh, one of those vibrating plates yeah, well, try not to have four, one five hundred meters of up and down. Yeah, right. Or you could probably call in Mick, me mate, the master farmer. Yeah, who's got a steamroller or some shit. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but then you then you got to like promise him a lamb, and then you got to definitely. Is that how you do it? You do the trade off. Yeah. See the see you those trees. Out, I'll chop you out. Yeah, you see that those. So there's plenty of firewood back there. You can go help yourself to it if you give me a. A roll out. Yeah. Steamroll. Harvest. But then, you know, if you want to do steamrolling yourself, what's that? 90 to 100 grand worth of uh, steamrolling? I oh, know, heaps more than that. Is it? Tractors and stuff, like one of those cool John Deerys. Mm. It's like upwards of 250 for the tractor. Is it though? 250,000. And then upwards. And then, mich- and then the attachments. Oh, God. And the attachments could, have, could be 180 grand each. Yeah, right. see, fuck that. Fuck that. So all the money you sh- you're going to spend on the tractors, right? You're spewing back into the... Just, pr- just re- retire on it. Oh, okay. Don't buy any of that Don't shit. Don't buy any of it. Just stop. 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 <laughs> yeah. But uh, it'd be good to uh, set up a, a, a winter warmers wonderland. Definitely. Down there. Um, oh, yeah, amongst so the trees. Yeah. Love it. Uh, every... Every corner, every nook, I was going, this is where you have the rave. No, 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 this <laughs> is where you have the rave. <laughs> okay. Because what I'd do, Bushdorf, um, amphitheatre, decked out, all that business, mm. um, we run the rave from a daytime rave from okay. mid to day until 10 p.m., and then it goes silent disco. Right. You've got to bring your own Bluetooth headphones because music is getting cut off at 10. Okay. So we don't get noise complaints, cops don't rock up. Don't need permit. Yeah, and then what is it? 80, 90 to 100 grand worth of headphones. Yeah, well, there's you can hire them off us. Yeah, I know, but you got to get them to hire. I think you get a company. Or oh, can't you just have a Bluetooth? You say, if you want to be a part of the um, the discotheque... Bring your Bluetooth. Bring your Bluetooth. Speakers. Bring your Bluetooth. Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, look, I don't really want to go to Bushwoodle. Nah, nah, because I'll have to play it. Yeah. And I won't get to enjoy it. It'll be freezing. It will be cold. There will be ice. There will be blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, get out to the blood. And then public liability. Oh, yeah, there's always that. Mm. And that's, you know, what, millies? Not sure. Not sure. I think it's cheaper just to have cow. Mm. And then, uh, they Wouldn't just... you just like, can we just like fake a rave? Get fake the liability rave. out. Mm. Get the insurance company to pay the million dollars in damages. Split the money. Okay. Build the farm. Gotcha. See? So you get somebody to go, oh, so who's, who sues who? Uh, your friend sues you, Yeah. but the insurance company pays, pays it out. Rent, right. And then we use that money to buy the next property. To, to up, do, up do up the, the rave dance floor <laughs> with lights. and <laughs> Then you have a proper rave, which is a fundraiser. 
for the main stage. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, it could be done. There's plenty of ideas. Mm. The imagination. Because oh, there was a plethora of uh, concrete back in the Roman days. Can we make concrete out of Oh, we something? forgot how to make the uh, Roman Oh, concrete. we forgot that. Just like how we forgot how to get to the moon. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. we lost that technology. Yeah, mind you, the technology on our phone is 10 times better, but surely there's an app fly to the moon by now. Oh, like a calculator? <laughs> yeah, because that's pretty much as pop, as uh, smart as they got, wasn't it? Was the, the equivalent of today's calculators? Yeah. Cos, uh, plus, and san. I don't know. That's, oh, okay. that's what I know about. You lost me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got another note here. Yeah. Um, being a DJ for a party is like trying to get the right water temperature in a dodgy shower for 50 people. Mm. Too hot, too cold. Yep. I'm on the outside of this group. Yep. My ass is getting bloody cold. Yeah, and the front three, three rows will get wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, okay, so there's a little uh, transition. I'm transitioning. <laughs> Give us uh, a... Listing McListington. Listing McListington. Yeah, we're all thinking about privacy and security these days. Always. You oh, know. yeah, stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> Got to. Uh, and this comes off nordpassword.com. Okay. Uh, oh, these are these are most, and most, most common, Nordic passwords. The the most common uh, passwords okay. used around the world. Can I, can I guess a couple? Please do. I reckon number one. With a bullet? Password. <sighs> Very close. Password one. <laughs> no, nah, password's number two. Global, oh. global ranked. Yeah. At uh, number five. So I don't know how they've done this password. That doesn't matter. It's neither here nor there. Okay. What is number one? One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, okay. six. That's the... Uh... That's number one with a bullet. <laughs> That's the stupidest combination I ever heard in my life. That's the kind of thing an idiot would have on his luggage. Number two was password. Of course. Uh... Number three was one, two, three, four, five. Oh, are you kidding? It's amazing. I've got the same combination on my luggage. Number four is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is it? Then we got number five is password one. Then we go A, wow. B, C, one, two, three. Oh. <laughs> uh, so you got some QWERTYs. You got one, 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 one. Yeah. I so, love you's coming in at number 12. Is it? Yeah. So um, what's the... Uh, do they give you tips and tricks? Like, do they do they tell the? Is this like a website that crooks go to? They try all those on the list first, and then they try the suggestion that this website makes. Try using your birth date and your cousin's best friend's first. Yeah, well, you know. let's let's not do the one, two, three, four, five, six because it takes only one second to to break that code. Yeah, I'll say. Um, well, you just go, run your finger across the keyboard and just go, it. um Gender. Yeah. Male. Okay. Let's see what it be. Number one. Oh, does that does it split it into categories? It's, it's got heaps of different cats. Ah. Uh, categs. Uh, it's the same thing. Um, <laughs> but, different five. Well, yeah, all that. But then it starts coming in with baseball. You know, ah, yeah. Um, football. Football, but with one one is the L's. You know. Oh, gotcha. Oh, it's uncrackable. You've got like things like dragon, monkey, shadow, Superman. Oh, see, we're doing fuck you. Okay, we're doing um, we're doing uh, we're name that name that password now. Yes. We've done cows, we've done lambs. Mm. Now we're naming passwords. Uh, I like um, coming in at globally ranked at number twenty four is sixty nine, sixty nine, sixty nine. Of course. Let's go right to the end. Is this the, is this is the it, top two hundred? So we're not going to go through it. Okay, so we're going to go right to the end. Is that like the hardest to crack of the, the easiest? The, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I've just scrolled. Too and far. then give me just give me a general idea, and I'll see if I can guess what it would be like. Okay, it's numbers and letters. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. A B C D. <laughs> no, e. it goes because you've got to remember the QWERTY keyboard. Sure. So Looking it's it right one now. Q. Two W, w three, three E four R <laughs> yeah. five T. Is that the is that <laughs> yeah, it's, wow? Yeah, so I mean, let's have because a think uh, about I, it. I heard that um, the it's fascinating the, stuff. The, the military one of the military things got hacked, and their password was password. Mm, no one ever it was changes the, um, it. I think it was the oil. 
Nordstrom uh, something pipe. the oil pipeline or something like that was yeah that's password that's, administration one yeah see now I know that I know that IT crowds they put in when they set up a system they go right it's password yeah you, now you so, change it now you change it but yeah. people don't change it no. so is it real are people really using password or is it just IT dudes you see mm. setting up the system messing up the algorithm and they then they know that back door Mm, way into the, the algorithm method. <laughs> so yeah. that was a fascinating list. <laughs> it was a fascinating <laughs> list. But let's just try to like get a bit of imagination. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Like uh sure, I don't know. Oh, <sighs> bar, bar, black shoe. Yeah. Something cryptic, something a catchphrase that you use throughout your life. Once me dad said, you know, like it's as um it's as full as a caterpillar's sock drawer, but it's hard to type out all the time. That's right. Isn't it? And then it needs a capital and a, Yeah, and a number. And, a, and an underscore. Mm, we've just been through all that. Got kicked out of the Instagram the other day. Oh, yeah. And got stuck in one of those endless loops where you type in a password and then uh, it says, oh, re, re-enter the password. Okay, your password's been changed. You go back into Instagram, you try to put it in there like computer nah. says, nah, 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 no way. So, so you go re-password it. And you, and you go, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Try using one you haven't used before. <laughs> so are you telling me the password that it was? You've kept somewhere. No, I've, yeah, well, they've kept it, but they're not letting me use it no more. Yeah. Well, you see? Can't I? Yeah, but then you go down your list, your, your top 200, <laughs> go to remembering passwords, right? And you inevitably end up with one of those dumb fuck passwords yes. because you're just getting so cut with the system. Kicking you out, putting you in, kicking you out. Turns out we just overloaded the system and oh, we did. had to wait 24 hours and then... Or you put the wrong email in. No, no, no. All was that, all that was in mm. check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But it's just this this, this kick out, invite in policy. Mm. And you don't store all your passwords on the computer? No. I don't do that either. I don't like it. Because yeah. like, cause all, all you need is somebody that knows where that is and they've got a, all your everythings. Yeah. And then you've got but to go is, through the nightmare loops of all the other ones, changing them, you know? Oh, it's fascinating. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> all right, what about the thousandth most common password? Oh, it goes loop. up to a thousand, does <laughs> Wikipedia of a thousand most common. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Go right down to the bot bot. Okay. Go right down to what's, what's ten thousand with a bullet. <laughs> ten thousand with a bullet. <laughs> this might take a second. Okay, he's just doing a big, big old scroll. Get your old fat fingers and scroll right down to the bot bot. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yep. Um, some swear words. Here we go. <laughs> 5,000. Uh, do you want to know what 5,110 is? I'd love to. Chrome. <sighs> As in the uh, Google Chrome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, scroll and scroll and up to 7,000. Oh, 7,328 is Patrick. It's really right. common. Okay. Let's keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Because you move into names. That's and then eventually, what, 10,000? Here we go. We're getting there. You, you're eventually going to have... Doubles up. Yeah. Hold on a second, guys. Hell and listeners. Here we go. Number 10,000. Brady. What? Brady. 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 As in the bunch. As in the Brady bunch. Mm. Or Tom Brady. Is a gridiron guy is he yeah i think so yeah right but um i think you've got to get away from just using one word i don't think you can these days i don't think i don't think they let you do that i don't like that they're giving out all these fucking everybody's passwords passwords. could you could you get that list and then use some augmented reality to type the word in one after the other after the other after the other Oh, but then you've got those pesky uh, click which images have the traffic lights in them. Yeah. And oh, you, and you cannot it. see the picture. Hmm. So, you know, am I a robot? No, I'm not a robot, but I'm also not a functioning human being with uh, clear peepers, hmm. you see. So I can't tell which in images the foreground, have the mount. The background, is there uh, yeah. one extra traffic light that I'm missing? Yeah, I can't see it because it's so damn blurry. Mm. 
Get your papers checked. Get your papers checked. We're all aware of the push to eat some bugs. Oh, they're Get loving that, aren't they? The and we actually covered this early on in the mm. podcast where I went camping and I ate a cricket. Okay, right. by accident? No, no, we went, so let's let's try to eat these crickets, see what they taste like. Oh, okay. Say so what? Like uh, everyday nutty. crickets? Yeah, just field crickets. Can you just do that? Don't think you should. No. Parasites. Do you have to gut them? No, you just put them on the bloody fry pan and right. roast them up. Okay, it's cool. Full of protein. Yeah, it's but cool. I just I just tried it, but um, I don't I don't think I'm gonna eat this impossible meat. I don't want to eat <laughs> the, like dog. the lab meat. No, I don't want the Labrador. <laughs> yeah, the the cultured meat, the celebrity meat. They're calling it now, oh, so you can get a little it's cultured. It's, you can get a, you can get a little bit of uh, their skin tissue mm. of, of uh, let's say the Rock Dwayne. The Rock Johnson. Yeah. His knee his kneecap or something. You get a little bit of a chunk off him and then they uh culture the meat in effect in a uh, rock lab steak. And you get rock yeah, rock steak. It's <laughs> it's it's hard, but it's good. Yeah. And then um the other meat called Arnold's Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Swat uh Sossenegger. <laughs> I just I just just fly. <laughs> so I was thinking like you know, uh, what's been, what have you been putting in the food? Mm. Where we've covered like you know, there's a, a small amount of like animal bits that can is allowed to go into the into Get your the slipstream. Or, yeah, yeah, okay. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You might have one co- part. Because co- cockroaches for the coffee. One parts per million is okay. Yeah. Or whatever. Okay. So I think what they've been trying to do is like get into our brains and getting us used to eating bugs. By, by, going, by putting look, them in there. There's going to be some in there. Yeah, like nuts don't really taste like nuts. No, They're it's, it's crickets. cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> so they get us all hooked on um, cashews and whatnot, and then all of a sudden our meat starts tasting like delicious salted cashews. We're in. Mm. Yeah, I see. It's like a and big so psyop. Yeah, psyop. Slowly get you used to eating Can we? Hey, am I serving it at a dinner party? And are you going to be disappointed when or if I do? It's lasagna. Eat it up, everybody. Hmm, it's a bit nutty. Yeah, mm. it's a uh, cockroach. Cockroach mm. surprise. <laughs> Enjoying your maggots, Michael. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, look. But they do allow a little bit. Like, you got the plastic rice in amongst the real rice. True, true. You got the fake lettuce. Yeah, I saw that, saw that the other one. day. The, uh, what what was that um, ointment that he was putting in the water? It's some sort of, like, glucose or some sort of, uh, like, a gelatinous moldy. <clears throat> it looked like he had to keep it wet and keep it turning. And so, yeah. yeah, he cut it, but he was like... He was like still juggling it, yeah, just in case it like collapsed, like that uh, silly sand, magic oh, yeah. magic sand. Remember mm. that stuff? Sure do. Stays dry. You pull it out. It's bone dry. It's hydrophobic. Is that what you call it? Yeah, it repels water. Just, oh, like, I thought you were going to say just like an alcoholic. That, they, well, they want us. They want us to. Um, <laughs> what would I know about that? No. Uh, they want us to eat the bugs. But I, as I said, I've been out the farm, and uh, if you just take a two-hour drive. Uh, towards Gippsland down the Princess Freeway. Yeah, I'm there already. All you're seeing off the road is field, field, Mm. field, field. And they're full. It's full of food. Bugs. No, well, it's just massive area. Mm. And I reckon there's enough space for everyone to have about an acre, if you want it. And that's enough space to grow your spuds, Mm. grow your chickens, grow your... Pitch a tent. Pitch a tent. Pitch a swag. uh, (laughs) You know, shoot a kangaroo. Shoot uh, deer because deers are in, in plague proportion. Accidentally shoot a neighbour. <clears throat> well, mm. Whatever. It was a hunting accident. Uh, I found out that when you're doing spotlighting, right, mm. your sheep have green eyes when you spotlight them in the okay. field at night. Okay. The fox has got red eyes. And I've I've sh- shone the light on Mikado. Mm. He's got yellow eyes. There you go. And he's a she. So <laughs> she's got yellow eyes. He's a she. No, oh, I was thinking of my old cat. Right. Hoodie. Uh, yeah, so, because I've seen a lot of spooky, spooky videos of people camping and then they shine the torch out mm. and they catch, there was some red eyes looking yeah. right at us. So that could be, do you think the red... That's the Gippsland big cat. Yeah, right. But do you think that uh, it's like Star Wars, you know, the laser colours? Okay. Red's Which, for bad, green's well, for good. Well, it's actually the opposite. Is it? Believe it or not. Yeah, it is. But but you know who you're looking at by the, uh, the shine of the light. Right, mm. so are all predators oh, okay. red eye? Yeah, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The devil in there, eh? 
So hoofed animals have green? Like that'd be interesting to see. Yeah. Like to do uh do cows have uh cows I didn't I didn't catch any cow eyes. Okay. Maybe they don't glint. Maybe they're asleep. Yeah, right. Closed eyes, that mm. would do it. Yeah. But I, I just think there's uh there's an abundance for of, of land and abundance of opportunity. And I don't think we have to rush towards eating bugs. You know? Can't we just uh shoot some rabbits, Tim? Can't yeah, we? Yeah, we're allowed to shoot the rabbits, aren't we? Yeah, but I don't think you really want to eat them. Not much yeah, meat. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like eating dirt and shit, right? <laughs> Rabbit. <laughs> yeah, like when you well, you got to skin it. Well, because you see, because you see on the um, alive, we ended up having to alive each other <laughs> show, mm. and they've got to survive out in the wilderness, and they just whatever they can, act, whatever's got meat on them, yeah, they're killing it and eating it, yeah, skinning mass. So and... yeah, but like. Why can't we, before we eat the bugs, can we eat the mice? Because mm. you've seen those back to the farm. The plagues. They lift the They lift the tenner and there's mm. millions of millions of delicious little steaks running left, right and centre all over the place. Can't we eat those little bastards? Oh, mouse McNuggets. Mouse nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Because, and like, why are, we going, why are we going straight to the bugs? Because the bugs are the ecosystem. It's like, destroy the ecosystem at all protein. costs. <laughs> Heaps you know? of protein. Yeah. But, um, you know, I'll eat a little... I'll eat a mouse kebab. I'll eat a, a mouse kebab. Ah, that's brilliant. Yeah, like a big skewer through 10 of so them. So how do we process it? Because let's just think of this through. Well, it's the same thing with milking them. Well, milking a mouse <laughs> is very hard. But very yeah. nimble fingers. It's crook. Um, like olives, right? How do they get the pip out of the olive? Um, I would have gone straight to slave labor. Gotcha. But I reckon there's there's, there's a, a method. The, the, no, there's a method, right? Where you boil them in um sulfuric uh, <laughs> glucosine. Yeah. And it deep pops, pops. Yeah, deep pips. pops, deep pips them. They pop out the top. Because this is what I'm. And then they them. pickle the shit out of them. Yeah. And then you're like, yeah, that's all of us are good, but it's been through a process. Like I think the uh, the pickling is to disguise the um. Sulfuric the acid. <laughs> <laughs> the melamine, which they're finding in a lot the of the tridexican. From... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, because yeah, I'm just trying to think of how we're going to process these uh, millions yeah, of Yeah, but what have we got? Bags. We've got abundance of, you know, like if there's a locust plague, we should be eating locusts. If there's a, um, you know, no, if there's, there's a too locust many crows, plague, let's locust eat the crows. Plague, feed them to the mouse, <clears throat> the mice factory. Gotcha. Or, or like, let's, 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 feed it the up. bugs. To fatten the, the mice, yeah, we yeah. eat the mice. Happy little family. And then when you've got this uh, factory full of mice, inevitably the snakes come. Yeah, and I, I don't know how so I'm going to convince snake. my kids to eat a carrot, let alone a mouse kebab. <laughs> <laughs> tails on or tails off, kids? Um, uh, cockroach, anyone? Yeah, does nah. anyone want another serving? No, I didn't even want the first. Worms? <laughs> Worms. Worms. Ooh, who's got church. worms? Who, who's got worms? I've got worms. I've got worms, everybody. Who Try wants some? Uh, grasshopper? No, 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 no. I'll, I'll pass. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But there's got to be another There's got to be another solution to it. Before like, we eat the bugs. Before we eat the bugs. Like, can we eat, can we eat grass? <laughs> can we? There seems to be a lot of that in the fields. There's widgety grubs. Um, again, with the nuts. Yeah, See explosion. what I'm saying? Like, how much nut flavour can we have? Everything's going to be sauté this and sauté yeah, that. It is. You know, uh, curried this, what, curried that. I know. There's a guy that um, went to school with. Yeah. We tricked him into believing that um, cigarette ash mm. uh, tastes like nuts, <laughs> and so like ash, ash, ash into his little palmo. <laughs> he's, he's had a little lickety, lickety doo dah and gone. Oh, fully went into anaphylactic. <laughs> Because in his little mind, though, he truly believed it was tasting like nuts, and I'm allergic to nuts. You see, ah, yeah, psychosomatic. We almost killed him. <laughs> <laughs> that was that day. Uh, but uh, you know, so what about what about the people that have nut allergies and uh, heavily influenced by what they're being told? They're I don't know, brainwash for yeah. uh, a lack of a better description. Mm. Are they going to go into anaphylactic? When did all these nut allergies, nut allergies start? Hmm. Is it when they started spraying all the peanuts and the nuts with the... <laughs> the peanuts. <laughs> 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 
Well, they Could may, be. maybe they were just growing naturally, and then we started spraying something on them, and then you started eating them, and then everyone's getting allergies. Or is stuff. it just that everyone's just weak as piss? Yeah, probably think, probably that. I think it's the latter. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. We solved world hunger. Um, mm. Well, they're they're talking about getting jellyfish to eat all the microplastics, mm. right? So, oh no, squid, squido. Oh yeah. What do we have to do to the squid? Uh, tell them to eat it. Okay. Get, get them get them attracted to it. Okay. Somehow, and they're like, oh, it's a great advancement in science. And like, okay, who eats the squids? Can we can we go up the chain a little bit and see who else is getting yes. squidded? Do you know what I mean? I just, just um, I, we're going to need a shitload more squids. And then what what about that uh, squid ink? Yeah. Squid ink um, pasta. It? So are we going to have microplastics in our squid ink pasta now? Definitely. I watched a uh, little clip, you know, the uh, buoyant salat. Buoyant slat is this young guy that's tight. trying to clean up the oceans. Oh yeah, um, and then he just he oh my god the latest video. He his goes name to, his name is trying to clean up the oceans and his name's buoyant. Buoyant slat. I think that's his name. Yeah. Buoyant, think, as in floaty. I think so, I think it's. I think that's. I'm going to call bullshit. It. I don't know. So like the, the man who created the toilet, his name was John. A crapper. <laughs> John Crapper. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so so they're eating the squids, the microplastics. Right. We're not really solving. Look, we could we could um, clean up all we want. We can recycle all we want. But then, like he showed the uh, the town of Guatemala, mm. um, and their dumping ground, mm. like their tip, mm. is right right on this estuary or right on the start of a river yeah. system. Yeah, gotcha. Um, Perfect and, spot. And so they just back up, back up, drop it, dump. Plastic bottles, rubbish, noodles, everything. Yeah. And then it slowly makes its way into the river. Yep. And then gets all caught up at the dam. Gotcha. Then when it overflows, all the bottles start to overflow. Of course they do. And then it's like 200 kilometers of just... It looks like from the air, rocks. But when you get closer, it's It's plastic. (laughs) Okay. And then that all funnels into this other massive river system. Mm Mm-hmm. Which goes out full, to the Colombian Sea, full of nappies, and then they they're in this helicopter <laughs> and they are just going down the shoreline, and mm. it is I don't know three feet thick of plastic bottles, thongs. Fuck it, it's okay. Come on, it's, I'm, it's, I'm, I'm well. I'm seeing opportunity here because I see um, I watch um, uh, Chinese builders mm. rebuilding their old 150 year old. Uh, houses mm. that they grow up in or whatever out in the wilderness mm. and they're always taking the roof apart taking the tilos off mm. and trying to waterproof the bastard uh-huh. right so go and collect your little your All little plastic plastics. bottles cut them in half uh-huh. get a perfectly waterproof uh, skin. roof tile skin very good you know what I'm saying yeah 500 years half life you see <laughs> <laughs> uh, it just um, it's uh, this, so that's this, one, this one river this one river Adds three uh, percent of all the rubbish that goes into the. Oh, ocean. We, we know where it is then. Yeah, so we block that off. But I was saying, like, uh, okay, is this just like it's ru- ru- rushing down from Guatemala City mm. and then going down, and then it's like, ah, oh, boys will be boys. Yeah, it's an accident. Oops. No, 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 no. They are they deliberately are dumping. Deliberately dumping, <laughs> okay. and you, and there's no way you can't see all the plastic everywhere. No, no, and so. You know, and it's hard rubbish again around our area. Mm-hmm. That's in a month's time, but yeah. everyone's already putting all this shit. They are putting it out early this year, yeah. maybe to give people better, better shopping. I just got my score myself a brand new bike. Oh, Sick. did you? What? Unreal. Mongoose? Uh, John? Um, I don't know. Johnny Star Dust? I don't know. The don't Mar- know Mar- Mar- Malvin Star? Something like that. Yeah, right. Has a flat tire. There's always, there's always bikes. Yeah. And I found me fit two fish tanks. Yeah, well, that's where lines. they are. Yeah, <laughs> just on the side like, of the road. But it's it's going to be there for a month. It is, and it blows around. It gets like, wet yeah. and mixes in with the masks and the plastic bottles. Yeah. So mm. I, I don't know. Why, why can't Coca Cola Corp. Just yeah. change their plastic? And you know, it's you know incredible. they're not. You know they're just burying it. It's not really. No one's recycling it. No, it's not solving the problem of the rubbish. No. It's just moving it somewhere else. Unless you shoot it into space, and apparently there's so so much space out there and junk, space junk. Mm. Can't we do a Superman? Shoot it, do a Superman. Shoot it into the sun. 
What, oh, what about this? Volcanoes. That's like sun-like. Just get all the rubbish into the furnace. Yeah, but then you got the um, then you got the fumes. I reckon it, it, it's so hot it defumes it. But I mean, what fumes are coming out of a volcano? Well, what fumes are coming out of a bloody sheep and a and a and a cow? They've got this um, they've got this thing now where they've 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 switched it. They've or unless they're being nicer about it, mm-hmm. um, and not saying not saying farts anymore on TV. Okay, they're blaming. The CO two and the methane on cow burps, mm. right? Um, and the solution to it is like um, tax the bastards, <laughs> tax burp tax. What about this? Yeah, I'll have a have a little have a little listen. While belching is widely considered to be rude, livestock don't seem to care. All day, every day, they burp. But it's not the act of burping that's the problem. It is the methane that they release into our atmosphere. The average cow emits a whopping 220 pounds of methane gas a day. Well, New Zealand is doing something about it by about taxing it. burping livestock. Oh. Mike Drolet oh. explains. The system works. <laughs> yeah, the system works. Question. Buffalo. Where mm. the buffaloes roam. Yeah. Remember them? Yeah, there was yeah. millions and millions and millions and millions. Sure. Herd animal. They're yeah, like cows. They'd yep. be burping and farting. Yeah. And they were there for millions of years, right? Yeah. And then we wiped them out and we replaced them with cattle. Mm-hmm. So is it the same amount of fucking methane that was... Well, you know, they're, they're, they're cranking those cows through, you know. Yeah. <laughs> There's probably more cows. Than there were uh, But were like, buffalo. you know, like... Accuse something that, that we've got no control over, you know? Like, well, you do have control over it. You can e- eat the Impossible Burger... Oh, gotcha. Manufactured by Bill Gates. Yeah, owned yeah, by Bill yeah. Gates. Uh, and then, and then, yeah, but like the, do we, do we really give a f- flying fuck about, because like later on in the report, they say, report. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they say that um, the methane that comes out of cows mm. dissipates and gets destroyed within 10 years. Right. So it's a, it's a commodity that's burning away. And so the the the, uh, the environment has a way of getting rid of it in half the time as it, it's let's just say a truck exhaust. Mm. You know what I mean? What about this? Rid- yeah. Riddle me this. <laughs> okay. We go we go human centipede system, but for cows. Okay. Right. Ass to mouth. Ass to mouth. Ass to mouth. Ass to mouth. <laughs> right. So you got your biggest eater up the front. Yep. <laughs> and he burps or he farts. Yep. Into the other one's mouth. Yep. Right, which pushes the, the, the their burp. burp back down, <laughs> and we're going right down the line, and yep. then right the last filter cow system. has a filter, like an ass filter. Yeah, when you catch it, you and then you power that the and then there's cars a gas, gas with, for the day. Okay, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, I'll factor in the sewing costs. Oh, that's uh, a good idea. Just not not even like ass to mouth, ass to mouth. Maybe just every cow has a bag, a bubble a burp, burp bag, and a fart bag, and when do you see that it's full? Just tuck the one bag around the just the whole big cow bubbles, a big cow bubble. Yes, and then you herd them in. You connect the little tubo, suck out the methane. Right? There's a there's a risk of suffocating the um, the yeah, cow when you suck all the air out of the bubble. But you know they'll fill back up with burn. methane, right. <laughs> so in no time it'll be full again. Wow, 250 really, kilo, kilopounds of... we really cracked the case on this farming business, haven't we? Yeah. That's how you do farming, isn't it? Pretty sure. <laughs> I uh, think we're going to go out in the field and sow the cows together today, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could just be out in your back patio and you look at, look into the field where the cows are and you see all their arse bags full of gas and you go, right, right I'm going right. to change the bags. It's, yeah. it's, it's time. Bag it's it time. up. Bag it up, boys. <laughs> Bag it up, boys. <laughs> yep. But then you've got to come up with a way to store the gas. And, yeah, oh, and that's it's a more nightmare. infrastructure. Oh, it's a nightmare. Gas gas containers, it's, oh, it's not, not cheap. Not cheap. Oh, it's fascinating stuff. So we solve the environment. Yep, solve the food crisis. <laughs> yep. What about yep. Eminem? What about him? Do you want to hear a little bit of... Uh, <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Eminem the rapper. The rapper. Yeah, okay. This is more like a mythery. Is just it? to sort of like get us towards the end of the, the uh, episode. Yeah, sure, sure. We're sort of getting there and uh, clear the palate maybe. Okay. 
cleanse the palate. Cleanse the palate. palate. With, with a little bit of M and M. Yes, M and M's. Yeah. To clean the palate, cleanse the palate. They've got bugs in them. Uh, M and M fans believe that the rapper died and was cloned in a strange theory. Yeah. Could I have some underscoring music under some? Sure. Things? There you go. A conspiracy theory that Eminem died in 2006 and was replaced by a clone is doing the rounds online as it begs the question, will the real Slim Shady please stand up? Uh. I think that's <laughs> they wrote. They wrote the article around that. Oh, uh, gotcha. The theory began swirling when fans noticed that the singer's voice changed and people naturally concluded that the rapper must have died. Uh. Couldn't it be a cold? Did his voice change? Or did his shit raps, uh, his raps just become shit? Yeah. Probably that one. <laughs> then, to throw fuel on the fire, Spanish website, uh, something or other, foreign, yeah, dot com. Uh, addressed the My Name Is rapper as an Android clone and okay. reported the theory is fact. Okay. So it must be. It must be true. If the news says it. Fans have continued to analyse the available available information ever since and have noticed that the singer's jawline has also changed dramatically over the years. That's because when you stop doing 150 Percocets a day... <laughs> your, your face your goes up. Oh. <laughs> well, I've heard the um, AI-generated uh, Eminem song mm. where they put all of his songs in there and then made the AI write a, 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 a like, rap. A like song. I'll find it right now. So my brain's dead weight. These zanies keep my head straight, but I can't figure out which K pop girl I want to impregnate. And some random bitch on Twitter said, Your album fucking sucks ass. I think I'd rather listen to Drake instead. Well, uh, trippy. Is, yeah. is it me or is that better than any of his rhymes? <laughs> well, it sounds exactly like him. They're doing the same thing on well, the because... Kenobi series with uh, Darth Vader. Mm. They've put all of um, James L. Jones. James L. Jones in there. Right. And he's like, you know. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Trying to catch a break. You know they put all the all the bits in there, and um, the the Darth Vader voice mm. is AI generated. Mm. So all they do is type the script in, and then he says it. But that, okay, so that was the the latters of Hi, my name is. That was the, the, the that's the premise. That's the thing. The and then they get then they that's the flow, the, the <clears throat> rhyme structure. Uh, yeah, and then they put it. It, they, it reads the algorithm of what he says and how he says it and kind of how he delivers it and then puts in topics from the it's internet crazy. that people have talked about and then other, it does other it. words he said in other songs. So the theory could right, well, let's be write, pretty let's write, accurate. Read like he could still be alive, but what they're saying is they've, they've cloned him mm. in AI form and you've just heard there. I think it was as soon as he started uh, bringing out the albums where he's screaming at us the whole time. <laughs> he's like you in a car. <laughs> <laughs> Put one, your bloody phone away. One fan wrote, yeah, I believe he's a clone. Okay. But it doesn't even look like him anymore and his eyes are dead. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, um, that's a prerequisite of uh, building a clone is it's got to have dead eyes. The dead yeah, dead tick, eyes. We ticked that one off the list. Yep. Digging deeper, fans noticed that the lyrics in the Eminem songs began to change around 2006 with a great emphasis on the hip-hop lifestyle and his dress mm -hmm. sense changed to a darker style. Mm, darker. Much darker. Oh, it must be a robot. <laughs> it must be. Then, in 2013, footage of the rapper glitching on a live TV show was shared online. Okay. And in 2016, fellow rapper B.O.B., is that just Bob? Started yeah. posting theories about human clones as we scroll down. In 2019, Tom McDonald released Clone Rappers, which claims the Illuminati took bone samples to clone rappers before putting the real deal in prison to silence their vision. Hmm. Well, you've got um, you've got Tupac. He's a hologram. That's true. Yeah, so he's changed. You've mm. changed, man. <laughs> you used to be um... alive. <laughs> <laughs> you used to be solid. Now you just see through. Yeah. So transparent. But, uh, thank you. That's right. <laughs> thank you. This is why you got to have. He uh, wouldn't. He wouldn't have survived. He wouldn't have survived today's climate, hip hop climate. Park. Nah. Yeah. Not no. the best rapper that ever lived. No. no, I didn't like it. The theory might sound far fetched, but yeah, it does. Yeah. But some fans are buying into it 
As one wrote, I believe that Eminem is a clone. He doesn't even look the same after the so-called accident where he just disappeared for about a year and came back looking different. Yeah. So what, he had reconstruction surgery on his face yeah, after? Well, yeah, okay. It's a classic Luke Skywalker story. But not everyone is convinced, as others wrote. The idea that he's really? a clone is one of the dumbest conspiracy theories ever. That song from Tom... Oh, that's a fact. That song from Tom was one of the worst songs he's put out. That's because he's shit now. It's Tom. Oh, I don't know. As people age, they grow and change as a person. Is it? Don't you know? Like Biden. And like yeah, how Biden. Biden's earlobes <laughs> reconnected <laughs> to his head. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. He's but, omnipresent, Biden. He can be in two parts of the country and at once, it looks yeah. completely different sounds completely different mm. so that was from the mirror.co.uk so it's all yeah, a publication a to be trusted uh, and then I scroll down here and I got a little picture on it I want to click on because it's a tattoo addict uh, has <clears throat> who has transformed into a black alien mm. wants his wants to amputate his leg oh okay you should see this because he's got bad tats on that leg yeah, let's look at it. I'll show you, Tim. <laughs> yeah. Look at this fucking gronk. Oh, yeah, he looks kind of like an alien with a crucifix in the middle of his head. And fully fully uh, blackened face, tattooed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's got some sort of... He's, he's No hair. He's taken to his nose, like chopping, <laughs> chop, chopping it off. <laughs> he's hacked at it with a butter knife. He's got like a little plate under his little lippy there. Yeah. He's obviously got... What has he done to his head? He's got a Prince Albert from here to Hades. <laughs> <laughs> Frenchman, Anthony Le, Le Friends or Le Friend or something like that. 33 has already oh, had his nose, both ears and two fingers amputated. The nose is off. Uh, his upper lip When you is say also... he's hacked at his nose, it's gone. Yeah, it's like the tip just cut it straight off. So oh. You got, like, no, you got nose holes. Oh, um, just the tip. Okay, it's just the tip. Yeah, calm down. <laughs> oh God, <clears throat> the uh, tattoo addict who is transforming himself into a black alien now wants to amputate one leg. As he said, his upper lip has also been almost completely removed, making it difficult for him to speak. Just, just go get. If you're so addicted to tattoos and you've got your whole body covered, just go over the old tats. If you love it so hard, and you just keep going and going. Just go. Just keep going over the top. I think he likes his tats though. Yeah, I know, but like you just re ink them just if you love the go. pain so much. Or just, just book yourself in, get just get have an empty chamber. Oh. Just get someone to drill you with a bloody tattoo gun for four hours. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Or, I'm really feeling it. Or he has also had countless implants placed under his skin, which is almost completely tattooed black. Mm. Uh his eye it's his real eyeballs. I think he's tattooed. He's his tattooed eyeballs. his eyeballs. Yeah. So it's like uh is this dumpster dumpster tattooist? Dumpster doctors, <laughs> yeah. Who's doing this? Who is doing that? Oh, I wanna get my eyes done. This oh. we can do. Oh look. Speaking to the Club One One Three podcast, yeah. He opened up about how he found it difficult to find work due really? to his extreme appearance. Couldn't get a couldn't get a um gig Te at a teaching job in a no, primary no. school. I was gonna say at a freak show. Surely sure they'll have that. Swedge him in between the um, obese fat lady with a with a beard and the um, world's shortest tattooed mini me. <laughs> have a look at his it's arm. A freak show. Have a look at his arm implant. Uh, oh, he's got uh, he's got some ridges. He's got he's got somewhat of a Batman forearm going on, mm. with, but without the gloves. Yes, and uh, the two amp um, amputated fingers there on his left hand. There's got to be, there's got to be like, obviously there's doctors that'll do it, but there's got to be doctors that won't, wouldn't you think? Yeah. And let's just have a look at um, Lafredo Le before his body modifications. Um, well, okay. He's a bit of a hunk. Yeah. A bit of a <laughs> good looking dude with the huge fucking muscles. Yeah. Big red t-shirt. <laughs> what happened to him? I don't know. Wait, what, get, what? get addicted to just drawing on yourself a texter. Yeah. You know, henna. Have a wash off. Get it done again. Maybe learn how to do um, movie makeup. So yeah. when you want to look like the alien for the day, just spend the morning. Get up at five. Yeah. Get the get the wig on. Get the makeup. Or maybe on. um, maybe drop dead. It's um, <laughs> it's um, 
Imagine nah. It's a bit much for me. Imagine nah. The the invitations to the family functions, um, you know, like it's it's okay if your parents accept you, but will your parents' parents, mm. your grandparents, are they going to understand I don't when you rock up? Understand. You've changed. Yeah. And who's this? This is my son, the black noseless alien. <laughs> it used to be a time where only uh, sailors and prisoners had tattoos, and mm. that's how you knew who was hard or not. Oh uh, yeah, who was um, who? But this guy claims to be hard, but he's still looking for a, a job. So he's yeah. not that hard, is he? No, no. Life has got hard. Yeah. He's made it hard. Yeah? Yeah. No, <laughs> it really has. I've got um, maybe a little bit of sympathy because he's obviously broken on the inside and people are taking advantage of him, i.e. the doctors. Yeah, well, they could he could just become a cop. They're all oh, covered, they're all in, covered tats. in tats. Yeah, they're all sleeves from... from Chin to tank. Be on like Twenty One Jump Street, like um. You don't look like it. Yeah, you don't look like cops. <laughs> <laughs> you could do that. Could do that. Um, and if you're feeling like you need to get your leg or fingers amputated, just give give us a call up up on the. Yeah, we'll the we'll style. give you a chop out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, chop one off. Um, Eat that. or don't, or don't. Mm. I, I reckon it's it's you know like how long until the um. Because no one's getting the old uh, Celtic tats anymore. You're oh, not yeah, seeing it's that. Out of so yeah. It's a bit out of fashion. But then you've got a foreversies. So mm. is he going to have to... Like, it's, a, it's a lot of laser. It is a lot of laser. Ta- laser removal. Uh, yeah, he's, removal. A, he's a laser removalist dream. He is. Mm. Um, don't know how you get the implants out of your head. Yeah, or that's a tough arm. one. Tough one. It's, um, scalpel. Nurse, <laughs> I reckon that'll get him. But uh, yeah, not going to do that. It's, I thought we'd end it on a um, a down note. Okay, <laughs> a brown note, if it were, if you will. Uh, okay, well, will. that's yeah. Okay, good. All right, be careful of clones. Yeah, they're out there. Be careful they're of what they're, they're putting in my coffee. Mm. Uh, are you not allergic? Be careful, of bugs. Um, just stay safe in general. Mm. The world's a scary place. Yeah. Barbara Walters. Barbara Walters. <laughs> okay, there you go. Journalist. Barbara Streisland. <laughs> <laughs> Full circle. Uh, okay, uh, send your submissions in and you can win yourself a uh, meat tray. Yeah. Meat tray. Good on uh, you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for joining us right to the end. Um, I'm Cheese Bob. I'm Tim Taco. This was the job of the town. See you on the other side. They hop, they duck, they climb, they go through two at a time. Yo, jump in the turnstile, jump the turnstile. Jump the, the turnstile. Leap over the turnstile. Hop over the turnstile. I had to take me. It was like a ninja. Jump in the turnstile. And it's no small thing. People have to jump the turnstile. I definitely know the turnstile. Jump in the turnstile. I definitely would do it once, twice. I would do it over again. Whenever I believe I have to do it, I do it, I get away because and, you know, there was no one there, so I figured it'd be. Easier to jump the turnstile. I've jumped some fairies in my day. I definitely jumped the turnstile a few times. Jumping. Turnstile instead of just paying a $2.25. That's the technique. I'm pulling the turnstile back. Like that. Boom, boom. My upper body is not moving. It's my leg. Jump the turnstile. Jump the turnstile. The turnstile. We are the antibacterial wipes. This don't even look sanitary.